All right, you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna talk about Major Key Physiques, my brand, my, my clothing brand, and how, you know, the first step, actually. Th these videos are gonna be completely off the cuff. My style of video in the past and now is the least amount of editing possible. As far as like, when I, when I stand in front of a camera, turn it on and just talk about a topic, if I make a mistake, if I, if I stutter, I'm gonna leave it in there because it's real and this is real and uh, that's what I want you to get out of this video so this series is gonna cover what I've done the steps I've taken certain tips tricks uh, mistakes I've made as to you know how I've gotten something from just an idea in my head to where we are now as far as this brand goes what I've done to build this brand and the steps you need to take. So the first step, we're talking about the first step, all right, before anything else, you need a name. And I guess, I guess a name is not solid, you don't have to keep that name, but, you know, when you're talking about trying to get eyes onto a brand that no one knows about, okay, you're gonna start, you're gonna have to use social media to your advantage. You're gonna have to use anything, any social media platform that you have with following to you know start plugging your business and with that said you're going to need a name and you're going to need a website that matches and you're going to need social media handles that that match they, they don't need to fully match but they need to be you know pretty close as far as how they're spelt and things like that so first of all a name i'm not going to tell you how to how to come up with it i'm going to tell you how how i came up with my name for the for the brand for the business which is major key physiques you guys might think Major Key Physiques is, is weird, and it is weird, but I'll tell you what, you won't hear another brand like it. Um, and it's, it's funny how things do, you know, uh, pan out, because the reality is, is that I started this brand not as a clothing business. It wasn't clothing, it wasn't gym accessories, it was a personal training business. Okay, so I was going to be the personal trainer online. I'd always thought, I'd always had a, an inkling that I wanted to get my income coming in from an online source. And I thought that would be me promoting myself as a personal trainer, bringing people on board as clients for a six or 12 week package and, you know, helping them either gain, gain weight, uh, gain muscle or, or lose body fat. So that was where the name came from. Major key, I've always liked it. You know, DJ Khaled started saying it, although I started saying it before I knew that he said it. I've been saying major key for you know, that's a major key or a major key uh, for fucking years, probably about three years. And so major key physiques was around physiques being the fact that I was doing personal training. It was about your physique. You were going to try and change your physique and major key, major key physiques. I was going to focus on the major keys. All right. For example, in diet, you're going to focus on your protein intake, fiber, water, and, and calories, not much else. As far as training, you're gonna focus on your compound lifts, not too much else. You know, when a new client's coming on board, I'm gonna give you the major keys. And that's where it came from. But what I realized was that I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be a personal trainer anymore. I like training myself, I like helping people for free, but I don't want to be under the pressure that you get under by receiving income for those services because to be honest I wasn't qualified I'm not qualified I'm still not so that was that was the the big hurdle was the fact that I needed to get qualified for me to receive money uh, for my services and the more I thought about it I thought no it's not for me I'm gonna continue making videos on the topic I'm gonna continue helping people for free uh, you know what comes I might I may I may um, you know, set up a, a, like a, a one-time payment sort of package with all the information you need. You know, it's either going to be a bulking uh, plan or a, a cutting plan with a, a training and, and meal plan in there, but that's going to be a one-time payment. I, I can't be be there as a, as support to you guys or to to the people that were coming on board with me. I just didn't have the time and I didn't have the the passion for it. So I worked out the name Major Key Physiques. I got the domain name www.majorkeyphysiques.com and that is what I'd say you should do. You know, that might determine what your name's going to be. If your brand name as a website is already taken, that's a big factor. If you can't get yourbrand.com, that's a big factor. 
I found that Major Key Physiques uh, was open, so I took it. I think it was $19 to, to save it for a year. And what I did then is I actually opened up a Wix page, Wix.com. You can design your own websites. All I needed this site for was to receive email addresses. Okay, so it's a, it's a mailing list. So you know that if someone goes to that website, they like what they see, they decide to enter their email in there and press submit, they know that they're signing up to a newsletter of some form or whatever information you want to send them. So from the start, I had the name Major Key Physiques, I had the domain www.majorkeyphysiques.com and I associated a, a landing page with that where I could receive email addresses. So from the start, I was starting to receive, you know, trickle a trickle of email addresses from there you need a logo okay actually before you set up a website you're going to need to put your logo on there and a little bit of text telling people about what the brand is about what they can expect and why they should subscribe to your mailing list so i got the logo the logo wasn't it wasn't this originally i can tell you that i was going for a key a keyhole design okay in fact mkp was actually in a key and believe it or not I told the designer you know what man just fill in the MKP with white or black or whatever it was take away the key and just show me what the MKP looks like on its own he sent it back to me I saw this for the first time and I was like yep yeah, that's it that's it regardless of what major key physiques will become in the future regardless of whether it will be a personal training business a clothing business a, a, a sneakers business you know, I, I assumed I was going to have some sort of product. Um, this is the logo. This is it, man. Whether it's white on black, black on white, grey on grey, white on pink, white on red, red on white. It all looks sick. I thought. Nice and plain. Nothing crazy. I was always going to design stuff without big prints on it. I didn't want lines everywhere. I didn't want all these random colours. I wanted blacks, whites, greys. I knew it and I got it. So, what do we got? A name. We've got a website, we've got a logo, we've got some text on the website. Now, you want to drive traffic to that website. Or, you want to put all of your effort into designing the actual products. So, in the next video, we're going to be talking about designing the products. You're going to need tech packs. You can't go to a manufacturer overseas and just say, I, I need a hoodie. They're going to ask you for tech packs. You need a tech pack, it's going to cost you to get them done unless you do them yourself. I don't recommend trying to do them yourself, especially when you're a newbie. I've got no skills on Photoshop or anything like that. Illustrator, sorry. So I went to someone to design mine for me. But we're going to get into all that stuff in the next video. If you've enjoyed this one, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, even better. I'll see you soon. Peace.